Hello Aries, welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind, energy is interchangeable, so it can go vice versa. And this reading won't resonate with everyone, so take what fits, but leave the rest out. One more. Hope you all are doing well. Cross watchers are very welcome here as well. Last one. There we go. Okay, let's see. We have action with... Huh, someone's chasing here. Indecision. So something that has been kind of been in limbo here or has been on the table before, someone's thinking about taking action here. Uh, it looks like someone, I just keep picking up, someone's about to like start chasing someone here. It's like this, it's imperative that they do something. Uh, we have renew and adventure, a return of passions at play. We have fragile hearts. You can be vulnerable and trust this connection. So someone's wanting a, a new spark of romance here. Something that has ignited this person to really step forward here. It's like this uh, all of a sudden newfound passion for something. Overall energy, Knight of Swords. Uh, this is about fast action, right? This is uh, out of the blue. Something spontaneous, impulsive here, getting a point across. So let's see what's uh, in your energy here for the week. Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please. Four of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and the Page of Cups. So you kind of feel like at this point, you know what? I know my worth. And you don't really feel like opening up emotionally this week. Uh, you really just want to stay in a safe spot. Just kind of, uh, be, you know, be a little bit more grounded. You want to focus on uh, finances as well. Uh, saving as, as well as uh, something that you've been doing in your career or just a job. Or something extra on the side you've really been making money. Uh, just noted that's a really good thing. It's going to start really helping your finances here. And for some of you, there is a little extra blessing that you uh, did not see coming. A very unexpected, uh, just a little uh, bit of thing with money here. Uh, tell me about this Page of Cups. Ace of Swords, yeah. It's like you already know the truth in the situation. You don't need uh, much answers. You just kind of like, you know what? It is what it is. Uh, let's see what's in their energy. We have the Temperance, the Two of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. So this person's biding their time. They really are debating coming forward. Uh, they're thinking about you constantly. You are always in their thoughts. Every time they try to get you out of their mind, they cannot. They have trouble uh, really letting go of the idea of this love and the, the passion that they have for you here. So their intention is to truly come back. They want to... Uh, really hold themselves back right now because they feel like they can be a bit impulsive. Uh, so you might have picked up on this that this person uh, always takes risks or a uh, very spontaneous person. But they want to do things the right way here. Uh, they feel truly devoted to you here in the Queen of Cups world. Yeah, they want, they want a second chance here to heal things. World Four of Swords. But it's just like about patience is key. They really feel like holding back is the answer right now. Tell me about this temperance card. High Priestess, yeah. So there's things happening uh, in this person's life you are unaware of at this moment that is all uh, meant to be, right? It's all happening for the simple purpose of what is about to happen uh, when this person comes forward. So let's see what's happened in the past here. Aries. We have the moon, the six of swords, and the eight of cups. So th there's a lot of uncertainty in the situation, fears, uh, feeling actually trapped uh, within your own mind of not really knowing what you could do about the situation. Um, I'm seeing that you, you definitely left 
okay? You need it to be in a more calmer headspace as well as uh, get rid of this anxiety that was just, it, this whole connection was just no longer serving your life. It seemed like it brought more bad than it did good. Uh, just mentally here and when you were trying to uh, focus on things, it's, it looks like that they really got into your head. There was a lot of worry here because they kind of left the door open. They didn't really uh, walk through this door to be with you. They didn't stand behind the door to shut it. Uh, it was kind of like this. It was always left in limbo. Uh, no, no action really being taken to uh, make a decision of what was actually going on in this connection or what you both were doing. And you tried really hard here investing in this. You did give as much as you could, but um, this person wasn't willing to see it as well as uh, pay attention to you here and what you wanted emotionally as well. Tell me about this Eight of Cups. Oh, this Eight of Cups. Three of Wands, yeah. Getting ready for something better is what your position is. It's like, you know what? This is no longer serving me. I'm heading off to something better. The Ten of Pentacles here for insight on this person. Um, so what they were hiding here was somebody that needed to leave a situation that was very stable, another environment. As well as this could be a job, anything like that, uh, where it was really uh, kind of fulfilling their life, what they needed in their life to keep it going. Could be finances, could be another relationship with with family or kids or something like that. But Devil um, Ten of Pentacles, this person wanted it all. They wanted their cake and and eat it too, which was having you as well as dealing with whatever they were in their situation. And they weren't willing to budge. And they weren't willing to uh, unveil to you what their motive was or what they were up to. Okay, so let me see the challenge here. Ace of Cups, Ten of, ten of Wands, and the Justice card. Yeah, the challenge here was getting this relationship off the ground. It seemed like it ended before it really started. And any time this person would come back and pick up things with you, uh, it would seem to just go south really quickly. Uh, I'm seeing this lack of communication where this person still acted as if they were in this relationship with you, even when they contacted you back and you're kind of sitting there going, why are you talking to me? Why are you doing this? Um, and it seemed like they were playing a little bit of a game here. Ten of Wands Justice, uh, you did not uh, get what you wanted out of the situation. It felt like, again, it caused more stress on you than it did any good. So with the Ten of Wands. Page of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, when do I matter here? Why Why am I not being addressed? Uh, am I, are you just using me, basically, as uh, a trophy or a toy is what I'm picking up here. Tell me the Justice card. Nine of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. It's almost like this person tried to strip away at, at uh, your character or... Try to uh, strip away at your self-worth. Uh, they might have done and said some things here that were very off the cuff, uh, very spontaneous, kind of like out of the blue here, like the Knight of Swords with the Seven of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. And it really made you feel like, is this person just trying to hurt me or uh, what are they trying to do here? That's for some of you, uh, not for everyone. Uh, for others of you that this person wasn't uh, mentally trying to play with you or verbally uh, putting you in a spot like that that made you feel bad. This person was always trying to take from you, uh, whether it be your stability, your comfort, whatever it was, they were trying to take uh, your good feeling away, okay? And they did this on purpose. It was like a motive uh, to keep you kind of hanging there. They thought that if they put you in that energy that you would always still be around wondering what happened to them or when are they coming back it's just like they wanted their cake and eat it too here tell me about the ace of cups four of wands two of cups so i see for some of you this person did have another life uh such as 
could have been just dedicated to a job but or a family but they had something where this they completely they denied their own feelings four of wands two of cups they knew that they did care about you and they felt a comfort in a sense of how you were with them they felt a bit secure uh, they, they really haven't had somebody make them feel secure like that, but at the same time, it made them feel uncomfortable because they were like, well, why are they doing this? You know, I don't need anyone. I'm a lone wolf. I can be like, you know, I don't need that kind of support, but they, they crave that support. But at the same time, they're like, I, I, I don't want it. Um, but now there's clarity in the current energy of, okay, I, I know I truly love this person. This person, of course, you know, I want this. I want this feeling of uh, security, how they make me feel uh, like, you know, not lost in the world. Like I have somebody that has my back. So no matter what they've done to you, they feel like you still uh, have had their back. Even in the uh, bad times I'm seeing. Okay, so let's see what action. We have the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles. So you're showing up as the Queen of Swords energy from their viewpoint. Uh, someone that, you know, you're going to see right through everything that they're going to try to put up. And you're not willing to um, sacrifice your own beliefs and your own opinions for anything. And so they want to open up, they want to, you know, mend fences here with the Knight of Pentacles, but with the Knight of Cups, this is about opening up emotionally. They want to show you how much they do care about you, but as well, how, how much they are loyal to you, uh, that you might not have thought that they were, but they feel like with time, if you give me a chance, I can slowly show you, um, I will be there for you. And I want to build this into something more. It's like this person, you know, it's like when that saying, you don't know what you have till it's gone. That's exactly uh, what this person is feeling now. Tell me this Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords. There's still a lot of fear here, whether you're going to give them a chance to hear them out. Um, so we are going to see an extended exactly what action they're going to take by doing this. Okay. Uh, we're going to go over uh, the outcome. Uh, and some timing, future details. If not, if this is your last stop, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.